KSPW Weather with meteorologist Art Jarrett. Good morning to you. We're going to start off with a frost advisory along the local beaches here from the Monterey Peninsula and south end of the bay up to the north end and beyond. We're going to see also a freeze uh, warning in effect for most of the interior valleys where temperatures are going to be down in the 20s. In some cases, you can see down Bradley about 23 degrees, getting into Salinas just about 36. You'll see 20s to get into Gilroy and Hollister, San Batista in that mix as well. How about along the beaches though? We go from 31 in Santa Cruz on the beaches there by the boardwalk to Watsonville about 31, 30 33 in Monterey, about 33 in San Jose as well. Well, some cold air has just really just kind of plunged down along the coastline and pushed most of that warmth a little bit further south. However, high pressure is going to try to build back. So incrementally, as we get into Wednesday, we're going to slowly warm you up as the storm track kind of lifts a little bit more to the north and continues a west to east uh, progression. And that's going to drive more of that snow and rainfall right across much of the northern tier of the nation where they're going to see those temperatures continue to drop down below, uh, in some cases down to minus 22 degrees. You're going to see rainfall also get kind of pushed off the eastern seaboard as high pressure builds in uh, some sunny conditions, but that's going to be bitter cold as they have more of that cold air just kind of plunging down as high pressure is grabbing all of that cold air and sending it back down to the south. But then we have a little bit of that storm track, the southern jet driving in some warmer air coming back through parts of, say, you can say New Mexico and then eventually back into Denver. Here's how it all plays out. The field temperature is what it feels like. Yeah, just about minus 12 or so degrees as you get right down into uh, Bismarck all the way to minus 21 in Chicago, 16 in New York. How about six degrees for Dallas and 29 degrees in New Orleans. Um, back home, though, we're going to see mostly 50s, some 60s along the coast. We'll get into 50s in the interior portions of our valleys in the Central Valley, 46 in Lake Tahoe, and about 52 if you're headed to Vegas today. High pressure will continue to try to warm up as we go. A warming trend going into midweek. We'll see those temperatures slowly increase about uh, up to seven degrees in some cases. And then by Tuesday, we'll pick up some high clouds out of this, go to partly cloudy skies. Wednesday, we'll see a few more of those clouds sneaking in, but high pressure still holds, giving us uh, some good warmth, some, uh, some pretty good warmth, up to 68 degrees in some cases. But moisture comes up from the south and from the north as we get into Thursday. You can see it starting to enclose on the central coast with rainfall coming in uh, just to the Bay Area, possibly. Hopefully we can get some of that moisture our way. Temperatures looking for 52 in San Francisco, 56 in Mountain View, Redwood City, Cupertino, Sunnyvale, all those areas pretty much in the low to mid 50s. We'll pick up 54 in San Jose to 57 in Hollister, 56 if you're headed out to Gilroy. Now the temperature in the Salinas Valley, fairly uniform, about 60 degrees on average, and we'll see more of the, uh, that around Carmel Valley as well as getting into the upper 50s as you get along the peninsula, stretching all the way into uh, Castroville, or Castroville, uh, Mill. you can see here, Watsonville, all the same, about 60 degrees to much cooler conditions up in the hills, about 55 for Boulder Creek and other locations, just a couple of degrees uh, the same. We'll go with clear to partly cloudy skies tomorrow, 57 to 65 degrees, warming up to Wednesday, the first day of winter. Should be our first, uh, our warmest day of the week thus far, and then we'll cool you on down as we go through uh, midweek, or I should say after midweek into the weekend, and you can see the overnight temperatures tomorrow again cold.